welcome back to my channel simply Tanika Dion I am your host Dion all right hey guys hey 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 all right now as I've been seeing on Instagram Facebook memes and everywhere else I just want to say F you to 2020 and hello to 2021. I am so glad to be here. And yes, y'all, we have to have a great year. Last year was completely messed up. It was just bad for so many reasons, for so many people. So yeah, we just want to forget about 2020. I mean, you know, there's some good things that happened in 2020 for a lot of people also, but for the most part, 2020, yes, we are happy it is out of here. But anyway, yeah, this is my first video of 2021. I am excited about it. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. Um, my first video is this right here, which is the uh, Trend Mood Box. You know, I've been getting these, you know, whenever I want to, whenever I like what they have and I get it. Now, this one is the Trend Mood Box Volume 9. This is not a takeover box. It's an actual uh, one of their boxes. Um, so that basically means it'll have uh, different products from different brands. The takeover box is filled with uh, a one brand, basically a one brand box. All right. Now, uh, yeah, like I said, this is a Volume 9. And you guys, I got this, I think, Christmas Eve. Yeah, I think I got this Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, I believe. Yeah, because the mail was still running, right? Yeah, whatever. I got this right before Christmas. Um, I could have did the video and had it up, but you guys know I didn't do any videos. All the videos that you guys had saw, I had did like 15 pre-recorded videos. So actually, this is my first time doing a video probably in like three weeks. All those other ones that you've seen were like pre-recorded, seriously. So anywho, uh, now I am here. I am ready to start again. And yeah, and you will see me in the same makeup, clothes, and all that for plenty of videos. That will not change. And here we go. So yeah, firstly, um, let's just talk about Trend Mood Box. Trend Mood Box is not a subscription box. It is just a box that they curate uh, whenever they want to. Um, it could be monthly. It could be every two weeks. It could be every week, uh, every two months. It just depends. Whenever they want to do a box, they put this stuff together. Um, they give you previews, let you know what's in it, so you can decide if you want to get it or not. Um, and if you're on the mailing list, they send you an early access code that you can um, put in and you can get it before it's released to the public it's usually a half an hour like if they release this say they're gonna release it on like that Friday uh, it'll be maybe like 10 o'clock Eastern time and then they'll send like a early access code for like a half an hour early so you know you know yeah but okay let's go ahead and get into it now um, again it is the trim move box this is uh, volume 9 and let me I have not even opened it yet okay okay jeez okay all righty and it's this you know signature trend mood stuff all righty and um yeah, let's go ahead and open this. Okay, let me turn to this side here. I think it makes the light better. Um, so the first thing, got bubble wrap here as usual. Oh, this looks like a nice little moxy. Okay, first thing I have here is the NYX um, the marshmallow primer. I've heard people talk about this. I've never tried it myself. Uh, so I'm not from I mean, I'm familiar with it, but not familiar as far as you know how it performs I don't know if it's you know matte or hydrating or whatever, but you know excited to try it. We'll see That is that um, And sorry, I forgot to see I like to see what's on Marshmallow Okay, so this time they only have um, codes for the marshmallow primer and it looks like something from Elf is in here also. So yeah, usually they give you a little, tell you about a, a discount code or something like that. And this one actually has expired already. It was from November 27th to December 31st. Um, and this was for 20% off of 30, $30 at Elf, but that's expired so that doesn't matter anyway. Um, 
yeah and this is I, I don't know like I said I, I got these late I got, okay so that is that next thing I see here is this um it's a trend mood uh, DSMD shop makeup sponge can always use makeup sponges and looks like it has a flat side also regular side as well as the flat so that is nice and then we have this Glow Skin Beauty Bio Renew EFG, EGF Drops uh, Epidermal Growth Factor Cell Repairing Serum. That sounds good. Apply drops directly after cleaning and toning twice a day. So yeah, that's this from Glow. And it looks like this. Just a bottle with a dropper. Very nice. And it has a seal on it. So, yes, yeah, excited for that. And the next thing I see here is this e.l.f. Lash It Loud Voluming Mascara. It is in black. All right. And next I have the Murad uh, Retinol Youth Renewal Serum. Um, and I know that I probably have one or two of these. I'm not even sure. I think I gave one away in my um, 2500 uh, subscriber giveaway too. But I think I have, I might have another one in there too. Um, yep. Of uh, this, because I think I, I don't know if I got them in Boxy Pop, pop Up or Boxy Charms. Or somehow I had a, a couple of them, so. Yeah, I was able to give one away. But yeah, and this is this one. Alright, so yeah, always like Murad products. Their products are super good. Super, super good. Y'all, you know it's the dog. The dog don't never let me do my stuff. So, anywho. The next thing is this Nude Skin by Nude Sticks. Or is, I don't know if Nude Sticks is the brand or Nude Skin. I'm not familiar with it. I heard of it, but I'm still not familiar like which way. Nude sticks, nude skin, I don't know. But anyway, it is a lemon aid detox and glow micro peel. All right. So, yeah, it looks like this. Yellow. So it's a lemon face peel. That's nice. I don't think I'm going to take it out the box. You guys can see that, right? I'm not going to take that out the box. And then, all right. Looks like something is missing the top. I just see a top here, but... Oh, it's probably on the bottom of the, oh yeah, bottom of, of this nude skin. Okay. <laughs> um, next thing I see is this Juvia's Place Glass Gloss. It's electric. You guys, I have quite a few things. Not quite a few, but I probably have about three, four uh, palettes from Juvia's Place. Um, oh, this is pretty. This uh, lip gloss right here. Can you see it's like gold with some sparkles come on yeah go with sparkles um but yeah with Juvia's Place and you know I, I have a love hate relationship with Juvia's Place I, I watch a lot of people people love Juvia's Place but I don't know I don't seem to have good luck with them I don't know I just feel I, you know what I'm not even gonna get into that uh, because that's a different video to talk about um, Juvia Pal Juvia's Place palettes and things like that I don't want to talk about that right here so anyway that's that and then lastly there is a Juvia's Place uh, palette right here and this one is the Sweet Pinks by Juvia's of course so yeah Sweet Pinks and you guys know I am not a big big fan of pink I mean I like pink but I'm not about it, about it with the pink. Because I don't like it all like that. Uh, especially in my makeup looks. But I, you know, it's, it's whatever. And this is what the palette looks like. It is pretty. Like all their other packaging is very beautiful. These are the colors. Also very, very beautiful. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It seems like the palettes that I use. I don't know. I feel like I don't get as much p color payoff and it I don't know I don't seem to think that their colors <sighs> work well for me I don't know I, I, I maybe I need to revisit I have no idea but whatever again we're not going to talk about that but those are the colors and that is everything that is in the um the volume nine so let me see 
it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven products uh, for volume nine, and this box did cost 44. Was it 44? See, it's been so long, I don't even remember how much it cost. But if 44 is not the right price, then I will put it across the screen how much I paid for it. And yeah, you guys, so what I'm going to do now, because you know I look a mess uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is and you guys I know you see this right here and you may be asking yes it's a wig this is for the video that's coming up next I won't talk about that uh, you'll see that in the next video but um anyway this uh yeah with these products I'm going to go ahead and use this um and come up with the look today and obviously it'll be some kind of pinky look because it's a pink palette okay so if you like to see the look that I create please continue to watch the finished look for using the product well not the products I actually didn't use um, any of the products in my trend mood box uh, this time well not this time but I didn't use any of them today except for the um, the sweet pinks by Juvia's place that's the only thing that I used today this palette and come on okay and I did use three colors so I use uh, this color right here to uh, in my crease and above the crease and then I use this color right here to deepen up the crease and then I use this color on the lid okay um, and yeah this is the look that I came up with um, and I like it it's really really cute it's very very pink but it's cute um, you know pink is good every now and then I don't wear pink all that often so you know but it is really really cute and I did show you a close-up but if you want to see again let's go here don't mind my little crazy pucker face but all right so and um on that note um I did today also use this uh the trophy wife the huda huda beauty trophy wife um lip liner I use this a lot and I use the Daphnique um, liquid lipstick. This is matte and it's showgirl. Daphnique is a YouTuber here. She's higher up though. She's on the skit side. She do those funny skits and things with, the, you know, like a lot of them people do. But she uh, has some lip gloss and stuff she had. And I bought some of these from uh, her line. And um, I use the Fenty Beauty pink uh, eyeliner right here. 
I've used this a couple of times. I also have, I think, a blue one. Um, and then I use the Glam Light Lashes. I think I showed you that. And I use this glue right here. Um, no worries. Latex free um, glue. I don't remember which box I got this in. But this glue is the business. And I am definitely going to order some more when I, you know, I find out where. I, well, I guess I don't need to know where I got, what box I got it from. I can just look this company up uh, to get it. But I love this glue. This is uh, eyelash glue, of course. And I love it. I love it. I love it. And then. And I use the crayon case uh, Glowden um, loose highlight here very golden that's what I was going for the pink and since it was so pink I, w I didn't want to add silver so I added some gold so I use this gold uh, highlighter here really really cute and then I use the Fenty uh, Fenty Beauty trophy wife come on come on gosh this stuff the Fenty Beauty trophy wife um, in the inner corners and uh, the brow bone highlight i use that and you guys you remember when i did a review on on um, the huda beauty uh huda beauty foundation stick full filter foundation stick and i did a whole review which i will link that video um somewhere up here and i did use the color at that time uh cinnamon which is 440 g i believe i can't see here because you know when i uh I don't know my contact I told the story already but I wear contacts and then because I, I I can't see up close so they gave me also readers to put on top of my contacts when I need to see up close because I can see the world I can see the world but when I need to see up close I can't see a dang thing so they gave me readers to put on on top of that yeah that makes me seem like I'm really old but I've been doing that for a while so I don't think that has anything to do with my age that has to do with my freaking eyeballs but anyway so yeah, I was using this color, which when I did the review, I said that this color was really, really orange. And you guys saw it. It did make me look super orange. I mean, once it oxidized and settled, it looked really good. It was nice on the skin, but it still was a tad bit dark. Uh, but, you know, again, I like mine dark because of the texture and imperfection on my skin. I do like it a little darker, but I felt like this was just, it just had too much orange and even a bit of green um, in it. So, you know, I was happy with it because I still have been using it nonstop. But um, over the Christmas holiday, I decided to buy me a different color. And this time I got, uh, is that nutmeg? Or did I show you guys the wrong one? I can't I don't have my glasses whatever but <laughs> look at the two colors here see that right there the two colors and I use the, the one I used today um, was the new one and look at it it's perfect it's perfect it is so perfect I love the color even when you put it on it goes on good I mean same of course same formula just the better color I love it I can still use the darker one for little things or even if I wanted to mix it but today I just used the new color that I got and it is perfect it is so perfect I love the color I love it and like I said I can't see but I could have swore that the color that I got the new one was like nutmeg or something I don't know you guys I'll let you know the new one and the old one on the screen once I do the editing because I, I don't have my glasses down here. I know that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. I can't see. But anyway, and I even got on my, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have on pink contacts today. See that? I look crazy. I crazy. I know. I just wanted you guys to see the pink contacts. But anywho, um, yeah, so that is everything that I have for you. Oh, you guys, I didn't even talk about the Dorn um, palette. Um, see, y'all know, that's just something you get with me all the time. I forget what the frick I'm doing. I believe I have adult ADD. Never diagnosed with it, but I, I diagnosed myself because I forget all the darn time. But anyway, so this palette, it was good. Remember I said I had a love-hate relationship with them, like a lot of the other palettes. I don't know. I felt like the colors just wasn't working for me. I had to work too hard to to get them to work and to, to build them up. But this palette actually worked good. I liked it. The color was very, every single color was, well, the three colors I used was um, very blendable. They were pigmented. Um, this was pretty. I really like it. Uh, and it's pink. And I'm not a super, super fan of pink. But it's, it's pretty. I like it. I really do like it. It came out nice. These colors were really good. And they blended so well. And, you know, I have nothing bad to say about it. Really, really nice. And that is all that I have for you today. I wish I knew what color this was. I wanted to tell y'all the right color. Jeez. But like I said, I showed y'all on there. So, 
Oh, does that say gingerbread? I think that say gingerbread. Because I know, like I said, I know the old one was the cinnamon. And whatever the new one was, I'm putting the old one over here. But the cinnamon, I believe that say cinnamon. But this color is perfect. Perfect. I love it. And yeah, that is everything today, guys. And I'm not going to discuss the elephant in the room, which is this long piece of hair right here, because there's a whole separate video that I've already recorded, which will probably come out after this. I'm not sure. That's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy, happy new year. And I hope you all are continuing to be safe and so forth. And yeah, if you have not done so already, please hit the subscribe button like and comment and I'll see you in the next video.